Garbo Gushi Baba. Okay, so uh, why don't we go over what these do? Uh, this is the main build mode if you're going to build a whole house from scratch. There are these uh, pre styled rooms that you can pick right now on Cat vs. Sims. Hello, humans! It's me, Loki. I'm coming back to you with another episode of Cat vs. Sims where I try to understand uh, Homo sapien behavior by playing a human simulator and uh, it just occurred to me that this is actually very much like um, when I it, my absolute absolute 100% first uh, video as Loki went back when I was a cartoon even before I was a a, a, a real cat on YouTube so uh, I might I might if I can find it I will I will stick it uh, at the end of this video so you can get a little treat or uh, you know I guess if you don't like it then it you know it's uh, cringy so uh, you can as a treat or cringy at the end of the episode if I find it if I don't find it I'll just cut this part out I guess um, this is uh, a special we're just gonna go over uh, build mode I'm uh, I, I, I recorded uh, part of this already so I'm just kind of doing an intro now uh, this was a uh, part I cut out of uh, I want to say Thursday's video maybe uh, so it's just uh, an overview of build mode uh, kind of a tutorial I guess uh, not much gameplay happening so uh, let's uh, let's cut to the video okay we're gonna go into build mode for a bit um, there have been some things I've been meaning to do here so let's see how quickly I can do them maybe we'll maybe we'll go over I am putting my plastic Halloween pumpkins in my household inventory uh, because you can see down here there's a little arrow that, or a little uh, triangle shows you when there's new stuff. Uh, there is a stainless steel auto pot, a new uh, coffee maker I got from my job. And these uh, countertops that we discussed before uh, also came with the culinary career and a sink. This sink, I, I have a much better sink than this. Um, so this is store, sort of like having a storage unit, the household inventory. Um, yeah, my sink is better, so I'm going to sell this and take the monies. I'm probably never going to have the, the worst sink. Uh, let's check and see if my coffee pot is better. The one I have is drink quality 3. Let's get rid of it. Let's get drink quality 6. Awesome. Okay, better better coffee. It's always a good thing. These counters, maybe I'll use them when I move, but I can always keep them here for now uh, in case I need money. I could always sell them. I'm going to get rid of these gnomes because Harvest Fest is coming up again pretty soon. I don't need more gnomes. So I'm going to sell them. They come in all different prices. Oh, I, I selected a room by accident. We're, we'll get to that later. Okay, sell another gnome. There were three gnomes at Harvest Fest. Oh, that was a spending one, $310, nice. Okay. Uh, we can't get rid of spoiled grilled cheese. Well, actually, maybe we can. Put it in the inventory, but I don't think I will. That would, yeah, nobody needs spoiled grilled cheese. Look at a study in cool. And these are, some of them are inspirational. Uh, the star means it was new. Uh, this is a spellcaster study. So it has stuff you need it for the realm of magic. And then you can, you know, adjust the colors. Sometimes they have different colors. $14,000 though. But if you were rich enough and you were building your own house, you could customize. There's a star. That means that you haven't looked at it yet. 
It, that just means it's new. It, either, it probably came with a pack. Uh, that means it came with Realm of Magic. These just came with the onboard. That's like a basic, basic study. You can see it's only fifteen hundred dollars. They got a, you know, this environment thing that makes things more, uh, makes your Sims happy when there's something to decorate. Fun uh, books are fun. Okay, this is a little bit more fancy. About seven thousand dollars. I keep saying dollars. It's really simoleons. It's not really a comfortable couch, though. It looks nice, but why would you sacrifice comfort for style? Oh, the computers. Uh, some of them let you do all the things, and some of them just let you do video gaming. So you need to be careful about which ones. Um, this is a kid's room. This is uh, offices for business. Yeah, they have other things. This is the outside stuff, which I'm planning on using this weekend. We have a, I have an assignment. I like the waterworks. I like the, the slip and slide. These are other outdoor, uh, pre-styled outdoor things. Uh, some of them came with the backyard stuff. That one came with seasons. Another seasons. Uh, this is the vampire's backyard. Immortal resting grounds. That's uh, that might be useful. Wedding garden came with the main pack. Here's a here's a spellcaster one from Realm of Magic. But uh, let me show you some other things. Okay, these are you know you can do foundations, floor patterns. You could make your own house. A lot of people. Uh, Customize houses to look like houses from TV. You know, basement tool. Once you build a house, you can put a basement in. There's walls and rooms. Gates or fences, I mean. Stairs. You kind of have to have a basement in before you put the stairs in. Columns, roof. All different styles. You could make a gazebo. Yeah, the mom did that once uh, to protect a beehive. We'll get into that. I want to show you this. I just picked a room and grabbed the wall. One thing you need to know about the roof is that it won't move with the rest of the room. Now it's drifting. So I, I'm going to undo that. So when you do, if you decide to make an addition on your house or make it bigger, you have to remember to do the roof or it's going to rain inside. The mom had a character get struck by lightning on the toilet once. It's too bad we weren't uh, watching that. Oh, of course the dogwood. The dogwood came with the cats and dogs pack. You can see some of these came with the, the vampires pack. Seasons. Okay, here's pools. Fountains. Various things you put in a fountain. Even lights. Decorations. They all help with your environment. It's just basic pools. Uh, with the get together pack, I think it is. Uh, it comes with like pre-made pools, if I remember right. It used to be that your Sims could drown if there wasn't a ladder. Uh, they've made it now that they can just they could just jump out of the pool. They just pull themselves up like a normal human. So you can't murder anybody by throwing them in a the pool and taking the ladder away. Okay, another one. This is, I use this one more than the build, the regular build. Objects by room. Like, this is the stoves. You could pick all these stoves and then extra stuff to uh, work on your environment to make your sim happy. Uh, we don't have the money for this, but this is the best stove. That's why uh, Sagan and the mom stick it uh, in the kitchenettes in the public places because it costs a lot of money but it makes great food and it never breaks so you don't have to worry about there being a fire but wow is it expensive 13,000 simoleons 
All right, these are the sinks. They have various hygiene levels, and this is it, this means it has a uh, aura. This one's an inspiring sink. That's the one I have in the Level Up Lodge. Pet bowls. Obviously, these came with cats and dogs. Um, I do not have a pet yet because I want to be sure that I can afford a pet before I get one. So I'm just going to be friendly with the animals I meet outside. This is the best litter box, but it costs 400 simoleons. Uh, it zaps the litter away. It's laser powered. Uh, you do need a scratching post if you have cats or they will scratch your furniture. But uh, these big towers work better. They attract the cats more. Uh, you know, there are places to put toys. Uh, there are outside stuff for like a dog park. Good fun stuff. Here, the best one is that. 1,200 simoleons for a uh, trash can that zaps your trash away. Uh, but you do, you do earn 10 simoleons every time you use it because it recycles. So uh, that is a good investment when you can afford it. So is the, the Roomba knockoff. Okay, anyway, this, I use this one the most uh, because it's listed by uh, what you use it for. And there is a Princess Cordelia bed that the Sagan and the mom stick all over town because it's a 10, 10, 10. That is the best bed, most efficient. Uh, but by the time you can afford it, Probably you will have gotten the Never Weary trait anyway. So there's other ones. This one has uh, inspiration. But uh, you get an inspiring bed at, in a painter career. Uh, there are other ones that came, you know, they came with the packs, the season packs and the vampire packs. Obviously the, the coffins came with the vampire pack. Surprise. Uh, there are also pet beds, as you can see over there. Um, toddler beds. Toddlers need a toddler bed. They won't sleep anywhere else. Uh, they, you can't find a 10-10-10 toddler bed. Toddlers are always sleepy. Probably because they can't, uh, they don't have efficient beds. Okay, the sofas, same thing. There's an ins or a focusing couch. Um, there, this is a comfort of eight. That's a really good one. And also, you could sleep on it. Nap. You can nap on it in a pinch. I always try to go for the best comfort. That's what I've learned. That means they're efficient. But that's pretty cute. No comfort, but I like it. Okay, this is a uh, cabinet and some of them are sort of like, you know, bar style cabinets like you might find in a breakfast nook uh, that you could put a bar stool at. That's not a proper bar, but if I, I really prefer these full size for kitchens and kitchenettes uh, because is it in the appliances? Okay. Um, there it is. Uh, th there's one dishwasher available in the packs that we have, and you have to slide it into a pre-existing cabinet in order to use it. I've, I ran into that uh, when I was doing my test, my, my, my test play, and uh, yeah, I couldn't figure out why I couldn't do it. Uh, we are getting a thermostat today because we have seasons, and he can get uncomfortably hot and cold. Also, this will help us save energy. Uh, on the bills. And I also need a smoke alarm, but I didn't, these are microwaves. I don't really find them necessary. I didn't in my in my test play. Uh, but uh, and some people like them just uh, for kind of environment and quick meals if they don't want to put a stove in.
I can't find a smoke alarm. Oh, w I will do a show about the tea. Uh, tea works very similar to uh, to the shower. Or the cauldron, obviously, that came with Realm of Magic, but it also works for cooking skill. I'm not sure I knew that. That's interesting. Cauldron of Excellency, 13.5. It's a lot of simoleons, but I bet it helps out a lot. Ah. And there's that trash can again. I really want that, but I don't think it's good to spend half my money on a trash can at this time. And I don't actually have a trash can in the house or outside of the house. I wanted to see what would happen. I mean, so far they're cleaning dishes just fine. Okay, I need a, I need a smoke alarm. Let's see. Ah, okay. There is a fire suppression system. I don't really have the money for that right now. Uh, the smoke alarm though, I'm gonna put that right above the, uh, the stove. The most obvious place. If I get a fireplace, I will put in a fire suppression system. I think that goes along with it. Okay, let's uh, let's look at the wall. There, you can see it on the wall. And a book and a spoiled grilled cheese on the floor. And we don't have a TV. I don't think we need one yet. We haven't had a holiday where it's required. There's a tablet for kids. There's what I was talking about, the computers. They have different uh, skills. Like this one is pretty much just for video gaming. Uh, the mom got one of these fishing, I think, once. See, uh, writing skill, video gaming program and comedy writing. Um, I think it's a good idea not to get one that's unbreakable and, uh, because of the handiness skill, but you can always go to the library and those are breaking all the time. All right, let's go to activities. Uh, this is for knowledge. Generally levels you up in uh, logic and various other uh, knowledge-based skills like spell casting. Oh, there's one of the vet skills. Spell casting. Realm of Magic, more chess sets, more vet. Uh, the Backyard Observatory, 1,500 simoleons, but it uh, gives you logic skill and it's fun. It solves your fun. Well, we can't afford uh, any of the spaceships. We'll have to go to a public spaceship if we want to do that right now. Oh, but the observatory always also makes you focus, much like the focus light. Okay, so this is just uh, uh, creative stuff. The bonsai, there's really no point in buying that until you're a higher level gardener. They, you, the Sims just refuse to do it. The microphone is fun. Uh, the easels and the guitars and a, a lot of this stuff can just be put in your inventory to carry with you places. Uh, pumpkin carving station, we used that at, um, at Halloween. Woodworking table, very, very helpful for handiness skill and you can sell what you make. So that's a good one for a, um, like a side hustle. Very nice piano. There's one that, that one is inspiring, which makes your music better. And recreation, Christmas crackers or holiday crackers. This pile of presents and the big one uh, you can actually open those presents. 
the fishbowl, I tried that uh, with a cat, and the cat was not interested in watching it, but meh. Oh, the elemental display rack. If you're doing a collector aspiration, you can stick rocks that you found in there. Decoration box we have, thermostat we have, large pile of presents. You can open those. Oh, there! There's the sugar and spice candy bowl. It scares you when you reach into it sometimes. Okay, game table. This was really neat, but I don't really know what it does. But they seem, seem to like it. The aquarium. Uh, if you're having, if you're in your starter house, uh, you probably want to avoid this because when you move, all your fish disappear. I, it, same thing with the, I think it's the rocket. There are some things that can't be put in your home inventory with the stuff in them. Motion sensor game mat. We should put that someplace. Style board for style influencers. Another gaming mat. Sugar skulls. Oh, there's a kind of an Alexa thing, but yeah, this is. Ah. Huh. I guess there's a Day of the Dead challenge. I did not know that. Neat. Okay. Uh, workout stuff. Uh, water balloon. Ha. Huh. Okay, punching bag, water slide, uh, treadmill, weight machines. The thing about the treadmill, the treadmill. Uh, if you want your sim to lose weight and the weight machine if you want them to build muscle. It's pretty much the same as real life. Although, you know, technically speaking, uh, the more muscle you have, the more calories you burn while you're just sitting down doing nothing. That's a tip. But if you want to count how much you're burning, a lot of times these treadmills will do it for you. Uh, another thing, uh, sometimes you say might not want to go on a treadmill, the mom said, so uh, she recommended getting a dog because uh, you can go jogging with the dog. Okay, these are all seed packets. Uh, you can grow things. There's a particular way you have to do it. Uh, garden pot, planter box, you don't really need those, uh, the garden pot. With the garden pot, you can have a plant in the house, and the planter box is really just for, for show. You could just put something on the ground and water it and be fine. Uh, Sprinklomatic that is extremely useful. I wouldn't even bother trying to garden until you can afford the automatic sprinkler. Okay, kitty pool. Uh, we should go and look up a beehive. The beehive was kind of fun. You have to bond with the bees, and the better your uh, relationship with the bees, the more you can sell your honey for. So that was, uh, the only thing is sometimes uh, lightning strikes them, and you lose all your bees. So uh, observatory we looked at before, weather control device, that might be fun. 1,500 simoleons though. Uh, these are um, like food stands. I don't know if you can run them or if you just stick them in a public place and they get staffed. I've never used one. Uh, Sagan had sand set one up, but I don't know what happened. I should ask. Okay. Just sort of miscellaneous stuff. Wedding arch. Place to plant magic beans. Yeah, ice rinks, roller rinks, and now we're back to the uh, household inventory. And I guess that's all I really need to show you about build mode. That's my overview of build mode. Uh, it cut from another episode, so some of the things might have changed since then, um, a few days ago. Uh, I hope you have a good day, and maybe you learned something if you needed to. Uh, if, if I missed something or misspoke, you know, let me know in the comments. That's fine. And I will see you next time. Bye. Hi. We're here at the Henry Dorley Zoo in Omaha, Nebraska. Today I'm going to show you one of my most favorite primates. Ooh, get your foot off the land. This is the Homo sapiens exhibit, also known as humans. 
They have a walled off in this glass, so you can't feed them. Next time on Cat vs. Sims. Uh oh. Okay. So we're viewing the gnome. Let's kick it. See what happens. Let's see what happens. Garble Goose Shibaba.